the painting of an image taken on the road to Root Irish, actually, um, from the Beethoven International Airport, which is um, called, unfortunately, Camp Victory, um, to the Green Zone or International design Zone, depending on what you want to call it, uh, along that really dangerous road, Root Irish, which is supposedly the most dangerous road in the world. And here, here we were in a rhino bus, which is heavily armoured, uh, shooting through incredibly armoured glass with our ballistic goggles on, so which obscures your vision as well, ballistic helmets, body armour, and in a kind of ominous silence, all the the um, American and Australian personnel on that, that bus were completely silent, be they officer or, or private or whatever. They were all obviously quite tense. Uh, and here, as we're going along, I think probably on the return route, from my memory, um, back to Camp Victory, um, you see a Humvee, an American Humvee stop, and you see a soldier looks like he's getting out of the Humvee, but you don't know what's going on. But we, we put that image in there as an ominous image, an image of danger, but, but, and also there's this sense of a narrative of something could be about to happen, and you don't actually see what that is. So it gives you a sense of suspense, almost like a Hitchcockian film still, without the actual narrative um, resolution that might entail. So that was the other American vehicle. And the Americans tend to appear in these paintings as quite small and distant. But they were often in the frame, but usually at the edges of the frame for us. The Black Hawk was represented because that was right opposite the accommodation quarters for the um, Australians. And it was a con constant taking off and landing day and night, 24-7, this constant noise. It was a backdrop to the whole um, stay in, in Baghdad, actually. Because one of the things um, yeah. we wanted to communicate was how wherever Australians are, they're not isolated. They're almost always embedded in much larger bases. In Iraq, for example, there is no front line. And the Australians, wherever they are, are embedded in these enormous, vast complexes of almost unimaginable size of American military. The scale of this enterprise is almost beyond description and that's something in particular in the photographs we wanted to encompass.